All right, day two. Day two here, we're just trying to put a store together um, and we're gonna show you the perfect product page that we're kind of putting together. These are not exactly the products we're gonna be testing, but it's gonna be what a product page looks like. So in this case, Scott actually gonna go ahead right here. He's making the video. Uh, we're gonna put a store together and then we're gonna show you the good product page and everything. So we're actually gonna hop on Scott's laptop and show you, say hi. Hey. What's up? What's up? Yeah, so we're gonna pop on his um, laptop and then show you what a product, good product page looks like, what, how we're building a store real quick in like how, how long? 60 minutes? Literally in 60 minutes, we're gonna put a store together. So I'm gonna show you right here. Let's go. Who is ready to start their journey? Let's go. Yes, we are here. We are beginning this whole journey together with module one, and that's building a Shopify store that generates sales. Duh. We don't want a store that just sits there like most of them. No, we're not gonna let that happen, okay? I got a full plan for you and your store and your brand, whatever it is, we're gonna make some money, all right? get things going here. What I'm gonna do is just go over basically what we're gonna be covering in the first module here. So I built maybe 25 stores or so in my time. I use the same order of operation. I try to get a store done and my ad, my first ad going within three days. That's my target. It's your first time, I don't expect that. It took me about a week my first time around, so don't, Go thinking like, you know, you're gonna be spending a month on this. Don't go thinking you're gonna be done it in two days. Maybe you will, but uh, you know, I hate to see what your store looks like. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Number one, you are going to register your site. You're gonna to go to Shopify. Look, it's 14 days free. That's plenty time to get a feel for the platform. Um, and I was gonna say, make up your mind, but there's no option here. We're going forward. Now, I don't care if you don't get a sale after 14 days, you're gonna keep going. You gotta start with a theme, you go right into customized theme on Shopify, and we're basically gonna create a theme, a free one. Next, we're gonna do a domain name, a logo. You're gonna get the uh, legal policies, you're gonna set up your payments. All this stuff needs to be done. I mean, you can't get paid without billing info. Create a banner, you gotta have something to land on. Uh, if people go to your homepage, which doesn't happen a lot, the color theme, not so important. Um, I've seen all black stores, which is white background, sell things. Um, again, not that important, but we're gonna go over it anyway. Install free apps, uh, three crucial apps, all free. You're gonna need those. Create a footer. You gotta have the bottom of your website look official, legit, if you want people to buy. And, uh, these keys to remember, I think we'll just go over them at the end. So what I did was, I just got my trial started. Yay! My first product, we gotta add, we gotta customize theme it. I still gotta add the domain. So basically what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna bore you to death and walk you through the process. I mean, this is store building. You uh, basically should be able to figure this out. And if you can't, there's free tutorials on Oberlo. Uh, there's free tutorials on YouTube. It's just store building. There's no insane technique for it, all right? It's basically you just trying to get your design skills down, which I'll explain are not even that important, believe me. But we wanna keep it still legit. So it's important, but it's not Okay, so basically, we'll just get back to that. <laughs> but basically, I'm gonna show you step by step what I do in my store. I'm not gonna bore you, I'm gonna do it first and then I'll get back to you, show you how I did and what I did. Here we are, we're back and I just wanted to go over real quick where we are in the process of setting up a store. First thing, as we know, let's go back to the screen here. We wanted to pick a, th a free theme. I went with Brooklyn. We created a domain name. I went with crappie.com. Now, how I came up with that domain name is just strange, right? What I did was I went to namecheap.com and I just searched around something with a weird spelling, but 
actually actually looks like a word. <laughs> so the shorter, it's hard to get short domain names anymore. If you can, that's cool. I mean, Target and Walmart did not sound cool at first. So crappie doesn't either, but we can make it through branding, all right? If you guys are stuck with a, um, a name, if you're stuck with trying to find a website name, how about taking the root of a cartoonish theme? All right, because in this sense, if you guys are stuck with a domain name, I like to use this technique. And uh, basically, you're finding a domain with a cartoonish animal name. You can use it as a logo too. So you're getting two things knocked out with one stone. If you uh, like want to create a panda store, you can look through here. It gives you a bunch of ideas and like Panda Fuse. That's a cool name. And it's still available.com. So it's going to be about uh, $14 on Shopify. Panda Fuse. And then you just come in to Google and hit Panda PNG. Images. And you find a cool panda got to be a PNG file that you can put next to a word so like I did here with crappie I used uh, some weird font and I used the web thing if you're familiar with Photoshop or fonts you'll understand a web thing <laughs> it was just a weird symbol so I was like I'll go with it it's very simple so this is all I did for a logo but if you're creating your logo this is all you need to do get a panda and just type out you know using um, Adobe Photoshop um, Microsoft Paint um, there's a, a site called canva.com that a lot of people use for making their logos apparently it's like really simple um, there's logojoy.com you know there's just different sources and that's basically what you want to do for a domain name. Don't get stuck too long on it. As you can see, if you looked at my times, I've only been here for an hour. And, um, you know, we covered a lot of ground here. Logo, just went through that. Setting up legal pages. I still have to do that, but that literally takes about uh, one minute. We created the banner already. We picked the color theme. So I'm going to get back to you and install the free apps. I'm going to create the footer, which involves making a menu. And guys, we're almost done. And we've only been doing this for about an hour. So let me get back to you in a minute and we will continue our killer store. All right, I am back. Here I am again. Yeah, we're almost done here, guys. We are almost done. Honestly, this whole drop shipping stuff doesn't seem like work. The only time it does is when you're building your store, at least to me, because I'm not a big fan of it. Um, let's just say, you know, I'm not a good designer. I'm just gonna show you a few things real quick that I went through. I added my apps to the store. That would be Oberlau. And I set it up real quick. And I mean real quick, because we're just gonna scroll down here and go to settings. I changed this to ounce, no big deal. I just want to be notified when the product is no longer available. And make sure this is checked. People are gonna get their tracking numbers. And that's all you have to do. Hit save settings and get out. You're gonna be using this, and I'm gonna explain this more once we start getting sales. This is Oberlo. It is like the, the heart and soul of your store. You're gonna use it for importing your products from AliExpress to your store and not only that but you're going to be using Oberlo to order your products so when someone orders you go ahead and fulfill it you're going to go to Oberlo and click on their order and order it and it's going to sync from your order on AliExpress over to your store next I did the sticky cart by Quickify Quickify whatever and this one you know I used to use Uplinkly sticky cart but they just started charging $9 for it, and I don't think it's worth $9. Don't enable your sticky button. That would be this thing. Nobody clicks that. It's just an annoying thing in the way. 
but you do want a sticky bar enable on mobile and you can play around with the style like I did I just added like a little gray background and a green button and it did say add to cart I put continue on there and not only that but it goes right to checkout it skips the cart so that's really cool we went to ultimate sales boost next and I set up a campaign my free shipping boost basically you want to go down and shut everything off everything on this page except for this this is the product page configuration message that displays after your price and I changed the text here to free shipping on all orders today left it at 14 all good so now on your product page you're gonna have to add a cart button and right above it free shipping people know there's no additional charges they're good to go um, no math they have to figure out all the stuff that would drive them away those are the apps we need to start if you plan on selling to different countries I would highly suggest getting the bold um, converter and that's for free also what it's gonna do is when people from you know say uh, Switzerland come to your site the money will display in their currency so it's good to have I don't typically market outside of the United States and Canada unless it's a really big winner and then I'll start diving off into other countries and that can be handled later on but for now we have this going you know there it's just little like pieces everywhere you connect them all and your store will be done important you got to go through the settings um, let's go through this real quick so we installed our free apps we did not create a footer yet I will get back to that and before I go on I want to go some, over some things real quick if you need ideas and you're ever stuck go to a drop a shot drop shipping Shopify store and by doing this you want to save the stores you'd like in the Google Docs I highly suggest getting a Google Docs account it's free you uh, go down over here and you basically that's what I'm doing this on and uh, basically you just create a, an Excel sheet it's free and you create an Excel sheet you write down all the stores that you like so you can always go back check their products or if you like their design just emulate their designs so you always want to refer back to some stores and if you can't think about a good about us page or you don't want to make a bad shipping policy find a store you like simply just copy it and paste it just make sure you're replacing all of their emails with yours you know you don't want to have someone else's email address on your refund policy that just wouldn't work out well if you feel like you could do something better make some edits after that just move on um, I'm probably gonna not gonna add testimonials to my homepage as I'm just basically showing you guys real quick how to build a store um, I will get back to it maybe set up email forwarding you want to do that by going into domains and you go to manage and here you'll have your email address you want to create a support one by clicking add forwarding email address it's gonna to go to your your personal one when you get an email and you basically just email them back but uh, once you start scaling a product you don't want this coming up as your return address so you're gonna go to G Suite and we'll go over that that's a very cheap Google um, private email that you can use so next we're gonna go over the settings tab real quick and there's only a few things that I change First of all, the general quick summary name of the store. Payment providers, you're gonna set up your payments. I think we already went over that. The checkout is gonna be a list. You wanna check off these things. Customers can only check out with email. Require first and last name. And automatically send abandoned emails, one after. It's set on 10 right now, but you wanna do one hour. You know, you wanna just basically pound people to buy it. Basically just wanna hurry people. You know, it's only an hour. It's still fresh. They still want it. They still have interest. Shipping could be a little confusing at first, but we're just going to make it easy. I do the free shipping all the time. It works well. It's easy. I think it converts better for people. You know, they don't want to figure out additional expenses. Free shipping eliminates all of that. 
everybody should be doing free shipping. So what you're gonna do is go in and create a new shipping profile. You're gonna select all of the countries, North America, Europe, you know, Australia, Canada, and under rate name, you're gonna put free shipping on all orders today. This is what people are gonna see when they hit checkout. Seven to 14 days delivery, free insurance and tracking. Really build value into that, like they're getting a deal right now. And make sure you leave the cost at zero. All right, so next we're gonna do the legals, create templates. It's very simple. That support address you just made, you wanna go ahead and replace all the emails. It by default puts your personal email in there and you don't want that. You want support, you want your company address in there. So you're gonna go ahead and replace all of your legal documents. So let me show you real quick what I mean. Go to settings and here's legal. So I want to show you something. Refunds. What I'd like to do also guys, to make it look a little more legit. Put your logo in there, make it look better. Same with the privacy policy, terms of service, shipping policy. What I did was I went to one of my favorite sites, Pond, uh, Common Panda, which is um, Rito Bond's site. Rito Bond, if you don't know him, he's on YouTube. Um, he, he created a site, shipping policy right here, and I just copied that and switched his emails out with mine. Works every time. So after that, you basically just hit save. Crappy. All right, cool. I'm gonna finish setting up this footer. Basically just put the uh, legal pages in it. I'll show you real quick. We go into here, customize. I'm gonna have to edit the menu. I'm gonna scroll down here to policies, terms of service. Refund, I'll do the privacy. This is why I'll have a store done in a day. You just kind of bust it out real quick, you know? A lot easier when you know it, but you guys, you don't want to get caught up on uh, too much and uh, waste a lot of time. Here's my quick links menu. There we go. We'll keep the payment icons. And that's basically all we can do with this theme Unfortunately, uh, one thing you don't want to do is add social media links. You basically want to keep people on your page. There's no reason to leave your page. You don't want to send them to YouTube. You don't want to send them anywhere. You just want them to stay. <laughs> now, a lot of people say, you know, remove power by Shopify. I think that's ridiculous. It's not harming anyone. No customer says, oh, it's powered by Shopify. I'm not buying it. Like, that's one of the most ridiculous myths I've heard. Um, one, one thing is if you sell a bad product, it does make it easier for the customer to report you because they can click this and go to Shopify support. And, you know, that could be annoying. But outside of that, there's no reason. So I think we're pretty much set. We're ready to start the show. We'll get into the more fun part next, which is gonna be product research and I'm going to go over the years I've spent searching for products on the internet. And I'm gonna show you a few of my methods that uh, you know, it's gonna help you find a killer product to sell. And it might be easier than you think. So stick around and uh, catch me in the next module. Take it easy, guys. All right, guys, if you like that video, don't forget to give it a you know, thumbs up and um, go ahead and subscribe. We're gonna be posting more content on dropshipping, starting a business online and all the good stuff, you know? Um, so yeah, go ahead, like this video and I'll see you guys on the next video.